social distance, wearing masks, and contact tracing are key strategies to prevent further spread of COVID-19. To reduce the, the workforce for monitoring and tracing people from a massive amount of CCTV video footage. We developed a visual surveillance analytics system for COVID-19 pandemic. This system consists of four core functions. Real-time crowd density heat map display, social distancing monitoring with face mask detection, and contact path tracing using person re-identification technique. We have built a surveillance monitoring page that combines information from multiple cameras and generates a crowd density heat map. The upper row is the real-time density heat map and the lower row is the real-time video streams. The heat map color ranges from violet through red with red indicating high crowd density. We leverage the use of object detectors to identify and estimate the number of people in a destination area to highlight large group gatherings. If there is a large gathering at any specific place, the officer can efficiently switch to the specific cameras. We can also jump to a specific camera from the surveillance monitoring page for a more detailed visual analysis. For social distance measurement, we have integrated a YOLO V3 object detector model on every camera for person detection. In this video, we use the red color to indicate dangerous distancing, green for the safe distancing and the orange color for the borderline. Our system uses the camera angle and bounding boxes sizes to estimate the distance between two individuals. Cameras in our platform are also actively detecting people's face in real time. We have collected a diverse face mask dataset from all possible angles and trained a robust face mask classifier. By integrating with face detection, the system can automatically trigger an alarm if anyone not wearing a mask. Our system proactively monitoring both social distance and face mask wearing. If any people without a face mask or violate the social distance protocol for a long period of time, the system will automatically raise the alarm. Officers can also manually select any pedestrian to retrieve their historical movement. By providing an image of the target person, we need to re-identify him from a large amount of video footage. Therefore, we developed a robust person re-identification model for this task. Person re-identification also known as person re-ID is recognizing an individual over different non-overlapping cameras. For example, with an image of a person obtained from camera A, we need to find the same individual from a large gallery set collected in camera B. Common person re-ID models are usually taking images as inputs. Nowadays, most of the person re-ID models are using deep neural networks. A deep neural network maps the images into another feature space so that the same identities are close to each other and vice versa. We can use the output from the deep neural network as the feature embedding of the image. Whether two images are belong to the same person can be determined by the L2 distance of two feature embeddings. For this visual analytics system, we developed a robust person re-ID model called Multitask Mid-Level Feature Alignment Network with Adversarial Autoencoder. It uses the softmax cross entropy loss plus triplet loss for training. Instance normalization in the early layer for image style normalization. We also proposed a domain generalization module. It adversarially trains a domain discriminator to remove the dataset specific information from the network. Additional maximum mean discrepancy, the MMD loss, helps to align the features across multiple datasets. By doing that, our model can learn useful and generalizable human features from multiple datasets and achieve the state-of-the-art performance. By integrating our re-ID model, we are able to retrieve the movement path of the target person in our surveillance system. Our system will show the top-ranking cameras with the top 10 results obtained from our re-ID model. Officers can easily select the correct matching. Based on the select results, our system automatically plots a block level movement graph of the target person. The x-axis is the time stamp. The y-axis is the floor level. Different colors represent different building blocks. Our system can also easily visualize the floor map movement of the target person within the surveillance system. Overall, our visual analytics system offers various toolkits for COVID-19 pandemic management. The crowd heat map, social distancing analyzer, and face mask detector are tools to help with the control function to help limit the spread of infection. The person re-ID and path tracing help with contact tracing. Thank you. All person images on this video are either our actors or taken from datasets in the public domain.